Okay, looks like I completed the quest by making that building. Hero recruited. Ryarin Caius has joined your empire. And chapter 2, Whispers of What You Worshipped, has, by the looks of it, been completed. Success! As your drones finish the construction of the synchronous hive, your soldiers' standing guard begin to twitch uncontrollably. Suddenly, all communication from the drones is cut off. Soldiers sent in to investigate the room lose contact for hours. You can only wait. Eventually, they emerge, but they are not the same. Their eyes and chitinous armor glow with dust, and they are led by a resurrected virtual endless. It strides toward your gathered craver forces, dust pouring from every inch of its body and slowly swirling through them, its arms wide. It shouts in a sonorous voice, Warriors, we return to the hive. So we have this virtual endless hero. Brilliant. So let's close that. Solo quest started, chapter 3, Cross the Threshold. Rayarin leads your forces to the Infinite Factory, a massive structure hidden on a planet long forgotten by every other faction in the galaxy. The Craver forces crawl over each other as they approach the door, frantic to enter and consume the dust within. Rayarin approaches the gate and raises a hand, but the gate doesn't budge. Rayarin's powers have grown weak from years of slumber. It doesn't have the telekinetic power needed to simply fling the doors open. Should you get your soldiers to do the job, or would it be better to let Rayarin come back when it's stronger? So, two options once again. Soldier option, you need extra manpower and you have to search curiosity on the infinite factory system or we can wait until Rayarin's at level 9 so what matters here is probably the rewards as usual so that one is an empire improvement you get it automatically on completion and this really helps out your fleets that happen to have heroes commanding them I believe in the main and that one is giving extra capacity uh, to your systems, which is a defensive bonus, really. I think that's better, since this is more to do with attacking people uh, by the looks of things. So, um... Health regeneration on fleet when hero is assigned plus 20%. That's the thing that sounds really good to me there. So, I'm going to confirm that. Rearing can be puts to better use elsewhere in the Empire, as soldiers can do the physical work. So, there you can see the infinite factory system. I'm going to have to get a decent fleet over there with a decent amount of manpower coming up, but I uh, don't have it yet, I believe. So, in the meantime though, I have a virtual endless hero. Let's check him out in more detail. So, most of the skill points are actually on the fleet commander side. Uh, Wanderlust and command rather than labor and wit. So I'm going to have him as a fleet commander. He's a guardian, like our first hero, but uh, yeah, in this case I'll be using him as I mentioned as a fleet commander. Yeah, and he's got a lot of fleet related bonuses here. Would be nice on a planet though with that bonus, to be honest. But uh, I'm going to stick him on that fleet if I can. I can't actually yet. So that's a pain. But when I get an outpost built there in a few turns probably, I should be able to place him. So I won't place him anyway yet. Just wait for that to happen. Shaddai has to do Populus. Yet another scavenger down there. And I'll group that up I think. So we've got to make into a small fleet. Colony ship should get in there next turn. Okay, uh, that scavenger. Did I send a probe? Yeah, there's a probe coming down. Right, I can't do anything there until I've got manpower. I guess I'll do that. Okay. 
dust loots. Probably should start sending some probes out here. There's probably is constellation out over there. Or more perhaps. Right, synchronous hive and pupa. We're actually up to happy now on Empire approval with that coming in. So we're getting uh, extra dust science, 15%, really important. Okay, even for the Gravers and all of their Fitzy bonuses. So uh, I think that's it for the turn. Next turn. Okay, need to remember him, but yeah, I can't do anything now. Right, so just see him now has a Constable Planet because I've just completed the Ash Planet tech. And that also now allows me to use system development. So we're really now going to start to uh, progress quickly, hopefully, with uh, yeah, these coming in. Military ships are now cheaper based on the marketplace event. That crappy event has ended. What quest have I got? Only one at the moment. The Craver main quest is actually probably one of the quickest to do, I think. Yeah, maybe a bit too quick and maybe it doesn't have enough levels to it. So we're pretty far into it already. Hero level up. Uh, let's go for that. More food and industry. Okay. Uh, oh, there's more ships there. Not good. Let's move. Are they comp yeah, they might be half decent. Right, let's uh, move uh, my ship down there. Okay, let's get colonized in just the end. Okay, the only world that I can. So, I might be speeding that up later, but not quite yet. Right. I think... Well, that now allows me to place my hero, so I'm going to do that now. Stick him on there. Confirm. The Empire will not tolerate this. He's making noises for some reason. So I could definitely get system developments in. You need 25 of a resource, and you should... Out Arguably, be very careful with which resource you pick here. I mean, in this case, I think I'm going to go for Jadnix, even though I don't have much of it, just because its production would be so useful. But I'm probably going to have to buy a lot of Jadnix, even though I have some, because I need 25 per system, basically. I don't have enough. I am tempted to delay a bit to hope to find more Jadnix over here, but. Uh, if we look in the marketplace, there is Jadonix in here, and it's actually quite cheap at the moment, so I should be able to get it. Uh, for the resources, though, Transvine, which in some circumstances I would go for, or Eden Incense, there's not much of it, so you've got to be careful, definitely. Right, um... So, I... Would really like to sell some resources to get some more money. I actually want to upgrade my ships here, maybe. Uh, how are we looking? 424. This should be enough without needing to upgrade. I kind of need the money for other things. So. And I. Yeah, I need money to give that a boost, arguably, as well. So, just the almost have Kyr Shaddai I've got to go into it. Let's have Kyrus. Uh, let's have Scorpius come here now. And Delphinius I'll have should die. I'm not sure if that's the most efficient way to do it, but I will. How many turns for that? Four. Okay, that's nearly done. One freight next turn should complete it actually. Right, so I can fig um yeah, I'll figure it out next turn in more detail. So pupa ship got done there. I got tech to do. Let's get another pupa out then. 
So I'm colonizing that. I wouldn't mind getting down here relatively soon. I might come down to the academy again, try it. I think I will. Okay. So research system development. And Ash Planet. Okay, so what next? I could definitely do more research. I think I'll be going for that. I also need that coming up. New ship designs, but I can't even get to that until I've got one of those texts. That's food, which I definitely need. Bit of approval there. Can't use that unless I'm pacifist. The minor race. There's that, which is extra XP on fleets and even yeah more stuff up here I definitely need as well. And it's trade and more production I'm going to want as well coming up. So there's a lot to get, but they're the general areas I'm going to be going in coming up. So what next? Let's go for that and then probably the food I'm thinking. Okay. Scavenger ship that can wait. Let's attack this fleet and I will show this combat. So, I could even upgrade the scavengers. I can't upgrade that ever, I think, because it does get obsolete. Um, I am tempted to put better weapons on this if it's possible. Or engines. Hmm, I can wait. So these are short, and I really think the short range weapons are pretty sucky in Endless Space 2 to be honest, because they can only literally shoot at short range, they can't shoot at any other range, so if you keep it long range then they can't do any damage to you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm not even sure this one works actually, I don't, know. don't think you get extra dust, it's at 360 now, let's could try and find out. It's going advanced. Uh, I can actually use two flotillas now, so I can describe all about that. It's long. So which do I want? I probably want a crap ship on on the flotilla. I definitely do want to use the flotilla. I'll d describe why surely. Um, yeah, okay, let's go for that. Now that flotilla should actually get into short range, but because it's firing on a different flotilla, it might actually be at long range still, I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it works. Let's uh, fight. And they haven't retreated, which is probably good. They've gone for short range, as they should. Of their weapon choice, so... Yeah, it's working in that regard. Good. Let's go into the scan and go into the overview. Okay, so range should come up pretty soon. And they won't be able to fire probably until they get to the, the last combat phase. The split of the three phases, I believe. Yeah, so that's firing. Looks like it's long range for that, even though the thin suggested it was short, and that is suited to. Well, actually, that is suited to short range, really. Uh, and that is. That one's got rockets, so it's long, and that's a mixture. But uh, I definitely want to be shooting at long range since they can't fire at me at long range. Let's speed it up a bit. Might even zoom in. Well, you know what? Let's use the auto camera. Get a cinematic. Clayton being affected. Then. Let's go back to overview for a second. Uh, we've now got into short range, so they are able to shoot at me for the first time. They've just lost a ship. Uh, they are targeting that. I'm actually pretty good at short range myself though, so that was pretty decisive. 
bit more damage on that than I would have liked, but uh, that's great. Okay. So, how much for this? 350. I'll just use freight, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's pick our system development then. So I am going to go for Jadnix and hopefully I don't go regretting this later on, but uh, it's not... Yeah, I'm not 100% on this really, but uh, we'll pick it. Okay. So there's extra 4 production per populace on Crowded Worlds. Excellent, that's going to be. So I don't have enough for the first system development yet, so I need to actually buy some. I need 5 more. Uh, my Hiroshim pop... Yeah, Kalgross, I want, need to find out what I need for that as well. So, um, for now, let's buy some Jadnix. Let's buy five. It's 51 bucks. Okay. Let's use the system development on Scorpius. I would like to have more, but I probably can't afford it. Um, what resources do I lack at the moment? I'm going to buy some Transvine 1. I'm going to buy some Red Sand. And dark glitter. And is that it? Oh, uh, potatoes. Super spuds. Let's come back into the population screen. Right, I was hoping that a resource would show up there for the Calgross, but it hasn't. The Cravers actually need Transvine, but I'm not, I don't need to increase their increment, really, so I won't be using that for them. Uh, they're going to be getting them quick enough as it is. Right, so I've got 255 left. I won't speed that up. I am tempted to actually sell most of my luxuries I don't need now, but the price might go up in my favour later on, so perhaps I should wait. Yeah, before selling more or buying more Jadenix. Uh Let's, right, we put that in there. Good. I'm gonna, oh, when have these been available? Oh, recently, they're both Ash. So that's minus 15 approval. That's a much bigger world, but it has acid rain and poorer production. So let's start with that one, actually. Down the list. And that can stay put. Let's enter. So not rushing to get a big fleet up straight away, but uh, yeah, I will be wanting to get it pretty soon still. And there is certain text you need, really, before you try to do it. Hiroshim bonus just run out. You need Jadnix, and I just got two this turn, so I can do it again. Okay, let's close that. It's the automated movement. The colony ship's trying to come back over again. Um, what are we doing here now? Scorpius colony. Right, so this has a lot more production, no doubt, now from having that system development. It's going to take two turns. Yeah, I think I will complete that. Then I get another pupa ship out. Might try and get down Spicer. Um. I should probably separate one of these and get it scouting again, really. Okay. Uh, production got done on here. Can't colonize any of these yet, and it won't be for a while. They're pretty bad planets, actually. Uh, let's get that in and that in. Get science up. Uh, that could stay put. Let's do an expedition there. I think I've got some probes I should use over here as well. But what's this? Pulsars population. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's in a freighter. Maybe it's gone to here actually. Yes, it's arrived already. They're good, especially on anomaly systems. If you come into the system management screen, 
You can see which populations that you own are good for certain planets. So Pulsus would be good on that. Gas Giant. Kalgros, because that's fertile, would be good there. So that's how I may want to move my population around in future. Uh, let's scavenger. That's then all the expeditions I can do there. Let's bring it down to Sassini. Okay. And I'm sure there's something I was f I'm forgetting about, but uh, I'll end the turn. Okay. Wasn't I supposed to have a colony complete soon? Yes. Solar quest started. Bug fixing. One of the bishops overseeing the Craver swarm on Shaddai has just passed away. A frequent enough occurrence, except for one thing. She was the last one. Bishops are critical to keeping a Craver population under control. You must quickly grow your Craver population to induce the mutation of a new bishop. Cravers run leaderless in one of your systems. Grow the population until a new bishop leader appears. Reward is influence. I need two more Craver populists there within 16 turns. Okay, now that Scorpius actually has extra... Oh, a starport for using system development. I can move some of this populace around. And I definitely want to do that. So... Uh, what is this good for? Fertile? may want to move that, but I think I grow the population before I do so. Can I increase... Yes, I can. Let's use that to increment it quicker. So that should have gone up. Cravers is still a lot more though. For various reasons. More of them and uh, growth penalty to minor races when they're enslaved. So uh Craver pop oh the finish is done as well. Hot world there. Um Are there any it's temperate? Yeah, that isn't a very good place for the sterile populist type that I have there. There's one sterile there, so I could maybe make use of them later on. Let's stick that then to... What was it called? Dolphinius. Right. So that should have gone up 10 in happiness as well by doing that. Uh, Connie's done. Let's get that in, is it? Yeah, that'll do. Briar. Uh, Savannah Temperate. That's plus 20. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one then. Okay. Right, so let's do the automated movement. More ships from the humans coming in there, should be able to deal with them. They should really group out more before sending them. Let's, with this, come over to Primus. Probably should have locked the probe out first. Uh, I've got probes here still. Send one there. That's done. Right. Next turn, I think. Uh, I really want. To, if I was to buy more Jadenix, you can use hotkeys as well to increase this. Let's use control. I need 25, I think. 391. I am making two per turn. So maybe I'll wait a turn or two before getting another one. I do need. Yeah. More system development soon. Let's end the turn. Okay. Siliquet started lifting the lamp. We need to attract a new population type and we get 80 influence. Shame I didn't, get, didn't have that before. Call a spaceman a spaceman. I'll come back to that shortly. How dare you threaten the Empire? 
Well, that was coming. The Empire's just declared war. Oh, wow. He's got more ships than I was expecting. A lot more. Uh, no. That's not good. He's still going all short range. All short range beams. Okay. Need to upgrade my hero ship then, definitely. Um, right. Call an event a spaceman. Blah, blah, whatever it is. Lose approval, lose industry. I'm probably going to have to take the approval one. Both of them are really bad. I actually got it to ecstatic. It's uh, no longer. Okay. Still happy. That's pretty good. Uh, right. If we're at war, I definitely need a better combat ship. So we've now got... Curiosity fins available, excellent. Uh, I'm still gonna go for the food though, because that's when the ship's coming. I need that before I can get to that. Right, so let's keep it long range again. I'm gonna do power to shields. Actually, that doesn't have shields. That flagship does, but that's targeted before that. So this isn't all that useful. Um, I don't have enough here now for a flotilla like I did before. I forgot to mention flotillas before, didn't I? Uh, which I meant to. Basically, when you have a, a flotilla advantage in numbers, you actually get extra damage done. So that's why you want to have them. Completely forgot. Um, right. So, yeah, I'm going to use that option. Let's watch the my ships will attack that first which uh ooh, it's got really good defenses I'm a bit worried about this combat I think I have to fight it 